All right. So tonight, little Miss Addison wants to read The Little Red Wagon. I went through some of Aiden and Alyssa's old books, and I found some books to read. I don't know where this book came from, but it'll work. Billy Joe pulled a small carrot out of the ground. When are they going to get big? She asked Benson. It was the bunny's first year growing her own carrots. Looks like your carrots just need a little more time, the little bear said. Who has time? I'm hungry now. But I suppose you're right, she unhappily admitted. How about a lemonade break, Benson suggested. Then he saw something under a pile of twigs and leaves. What's this, he asked, going over to pull it out from the rubbish. That old thing, Billy Joe replied, just an old wagon, not good for much of anything. Looks like it just needs a little fixing, Benson replied. Addie, are you going to pay attention? All right, let's pay attention. Who has time for that, Billy Joe said. I do, Benson replied. I've always wanted a wagon. It's yours, Billy Joe offered. Glad to be rid of it. The next day, Benson went to Randall Raccoons. Randall collected all kinds of things and searched through his piles of junk until he found the right part for Benson's wagon. Benson spent all week cleaning, sanding. Honey, you keep messing up the book here. Benson spent all week cleaning, sanding, and painting the little red wagon until it looked almost brand new. That's a that's a beautiful wagon, Benson said Sherry Squirrel. I bet I, I bet it could carry lots of nuts. I found a tree with the most delicious nuts. How about we go over and collect them now, Benson suggested, and the two headed off towards the tree. On the way home, Sherry rode on top of the nuts in the wagon. Many thanks to you and your wagon, Benson, she said. It would have taken me a long time to carry all these nuts by myself. The next day, Bobby Beaver came by. He wanted to use Benson's wagon to help carry his wood. Benson was happy to help. Bobby and Benson were piling wood onto the wagon. When Billy Joe spotted them. Honey, you got to stop moving it. That's where the bunny. Yeah. That's the bunny Billy Joe. All right, let me see. And my head name. Benson. My name and my head name. Uh, Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. yep. Mm. Where did you get a good Her wagon name. like that? She asked them. It's the same one you gave me, Benson answered. It looks brand new, um, Billy Joe. You have to stop moving the page, babe. I can't I read when you're not it. when you're moving the page. I hold it. it looks brand new, Billy Joe said, surprised. Look at all the wood it holds. I have plenty of carrots to move. Your wagon would sure help. All right, let's see. Can I turn it? With three of us working, we'll be done with this wood in no time, said Benson. Once the red wagon was empty. Billy Joe hurried home what with it. She carried as many of her now fat what carrots as she could. What is that bear doing? He's getting the wood. Oh. At one time oh, and loaded them onto the something. wagon. The pile grew and grew until it was quite high. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, this is the page we're on here. From a distance... Benson saw the little red wagon straining with the weight of its load. Stop, he called. That's too heavy. It's fine, Billy Joe scuffed. Scoffed? Look. Nothing day. Stop, that's too heavy.
Abby. All right. I can't get this to focus. Okay. It's fine, Billy Joe scoffed. So up on the top of the pile, she tossed the last of her carrots. Snap. Off broke one of the tires. Crash. The huge pile of carrots came crashing onto the ground. Oh, no, Benson cried. Sorry, Benson. I guess you were right about it being too heavy, Billy Joe said. It took them many trips to pick up all the carrots and carry them to Billy Joe's burrow. Benson tried his best to reattach the wheel. But although it stayed on, it wobbled horribly. He went back to Randall, and luckily, he had a good wheel. Benson fixed the red wagon. Okay. Benson fixed the red wagon and took the mouse family... Morgan's Morganson for a ride the next day. It was the children's very first trip to town, so they waved to everyone from the wagon. Benson let out his wagon to whomever asked, even Billy Joe. To Benson, helping his friends was the best part of having the little red wagon. The end. It is the end. It's time for bed. All right. It's ready for bed. I love you. Me too. Good night. Probably. You want to turn off the light? Good night.